So I finally completed it, uh, the wind chime. Uh, it started off as a project. I have another video. Um, I'll also have a link up here at some point uh, about cutting open a 70-year-old gas cylinder that I acquired. And I didn't know what to do with it, so I, I ended up turning it into a wind chime, which actually is not, um, as, as you saw in the introduction earlier, <clears throat> it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It was not very hard to do. Um, it was funny, I, I took it out to this tree in the pasture because it was the only tree that was big enough and strong enough to hold the, uh, I, the thing must weigh like 70 pounds, and I'm not exaggerating, it's probably right around 70 pounds, um, and uh, maybe even a little bit more. And my wife's like, I don't want it out there, the thing, you know, and then, uh, and then we got the wind going and she heard it and she's like, you know, I, I kind of like it. Can we move it up front? Maybe we can. So I'm going to have to like build a, a bracket on a tree um, or build its own stand uh, for this wind chime and have it up near the house. Uh, here, I'll, show you, I'll show you some video here in a sec with uh, uh, the wind chime. Hearing it from my house, it's about 200 yards away. So... Uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's actually a pretty easy project to do, really. I mean, once you cut it open, uh, I used the Amico Plasma Cutter to do that, and I have another video a review on that if you're, if you're interested in seeing it, and there'll be a link here in a sec. Um, so I don't want to get too lengthy. Actually, I shot this video once, and it was like 20 minutes, and I, I don't think people are going to watch uh, this video for 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm curtailing it down now into a much more uh, consumable uh, video here. So really the highlights, uh, somebody asked um, about tuning uh, the wind chime. In this particular instance, I was trying to figure out like tuning, like what would be, in, what, what that would entail. Um, and because the they have a dome, yeah. so, so here's like a small cylinder. Actually, I cut the bottom off of this one. I think I might turn it into a wind chime as well. You know, they're, they're domed. It, they uh, they don't really tune if you're hanging it from a specific spot. Now, if it, I was watching other videos where if you cut the uh, cylinders or you have a tube, then you figure out where to hold it and you get different tones depending on where you hold it. But because uh, air cylinders come to uh, a dome top and you're hanging it from there, really what you're, you're probably tuning it based on where you cut the cylinder. So I already cut it, so it's already kind of tuned. It's going to give me a tone. Now with the knocker, inside you're really just changing how loud it's going to be depending like you hit it up here you have to hit it with much more force to get the same sound as you lightly tapping it down here so it really just comes to like hanging the knocker as low as possible and so um i'll show you a short clip i'm going to try to keep it short um because i was rambling quite a bit while i was doing it uh, of how i did it with the uh the bigger one just so you get an idea. And then um, what I also did is uh, I took actually is the bottom of this one and that became the knocker for the bigger one and I welded the chain to it. Now um, just a, a brief description of the chain. Uh, I just got this at uh, Home Depot and uh, I'll look up the size and I'll, I'll put it in text here in a sec. But it's just stainless steel chain and the reason I chose stainless steel was because I figured it won't rot, you know, um, it won't rust and a 70 pound air cylinder, I don't want it falling down. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, basically all I do is uh, uh, you take a, a link and you hold it like this and you put it in a vise and you squish it. Because this particular chain is just big enough or just small enough to fit through the opening of the cylinder of that big air tank. It won't fit through this one. Um, but it'll fit through on the big uh, air cylinder, it'll fit through that hole, just big enough. So all you have to do is just squish this just a little bit, distort it so it bows out, and then uh, it'll hang off of that one link. Uh, so that's how I, how I hung it. And then all I did was uh, I took a, a cedar, cedar shingle, and that's what I use as the little, I call it a little sail to catch the wind at the bottom. And then I took a, a stainless steel uh, C-clamp, basically, or not C-clamp, stainless steel carabiner, um, and just drilled a hole in the cedar shingle and just clipped it on. And that's actually, I have another stainless steel carabiner, so I have the chain looped around the tree, and it's just uh, with the, the carabiner holding it together like that, and so that was pretty, pretty easy to do, hang it up. Um, not a lot of fab work, but there's the welding of the chain to the knocker, which I, I will show. So, um, 
Uh, I think uh, that's enough talking for now. Uh, let's, uh, let's get into the meat of it. So here, I'll show you a video of uh, me kind of messing around with the tuning of the wind, of the wind chime, kind of figuring out where, what I want to do as far as the knocker and stuff goes. Somebody asked about tuning. I don't know if there's much tuning other than you just choose what level, like where you cut it. I know I'm a, I was watching another um, YouTube channel about tuning and they're taking pipes and they're holding them and tapping them and, and changing where they're holding it. Well, this thing comes to an end here, uh, so it's not the same. If I cut this off and it was like an open tube, maybe that'd be different. I could tune it differently where I hung it, but since... I don't think it changes sound. I, I don't think it really changes the tone of it, but it seems like it changes the intensity of it. So if you're down here, it takes a lot softer of a hit to get the same, um, to get more volume. So if I, I don't know, I can't, can't standardize, but if you can imagine this is a versus a, it's much quieter. And I feel, I don't think I can hit it hard enough like this to get the same amount of volume as if I hit down here. Much louder. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can. Now if I try to hit it, that's about as hard as I want to hit it with the tip of my finger. Ow, it hurts. But it's not as loud when I hit it here. So I think for this setup, the tuning isn't so much where you hang it or anything like that. It's going to be based on where you cut the tube, how long this tube is, and then where you strike is going to determine more or less the volume. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom of this uh, O2 cylinder, oxygen cylinder here. I'm going to invert it so it's going to sit like this. I'm going to I cut the chain. I'm going to weld the link here and weld the link here. Now I got to remember to actually have the chain hooked on before I do that, otherwise. Uh, um, it won't do me much good or else I'll have to clip into it. I, I mean, my other option would be like drill a hole through this or cut a hole with the plasma cutter and then feed the chain through it and then, uh, you know, squeeze the, distort the link like I did to hold the cylinder itself. And I could do that, but, um, you know, I think I kind of like the idea of just welding it on and then welding the chain to it. Uh, this is stainless steel chain. This is steel. You can weld them together with, um, with uh, just your regular steel uh, wire. Of course, it'll rust. I mean, you know, where you weld, but it won't rust. Uh, you know, the stainless will still be okay. The steel is essentially still steel. It's better to, to weld it with stainless steel wire because then you maintain the stainless steel properties. Um, but I think it'll be fine for this application, so I'm not too concerned. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to sand this down, take the paint off so I can weld to it and do the same thing on the other side. Uh, I have a lot of burrs here because I used the cutoff wheel to cut this. Uh, so I'll go ahead and clean up the edges as well. And then uh, the reason I'm inverting it is so that if water does collect, at least it'll, it's a little bit of a dimple here, but it's a bigger uh, possibility of holding water on this side. So I figure at least on this side, it can't hold as much. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, even if it got inside the cylinder somehow, because I mean, the chain, it's gonna be open at the top, so water could go down the chain basically and, and pool here. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm just gonna use uh, my angle grinder thingy and uh, turn it up.
All right, so it looks like I got my knocker done. So what I can do, and then <clears throat> that cedar plank I talked about earlier, I'll just use uh, basically a carabiner clip like this, clip through here, and then also my intention is to clip it through the basically the wood knocker. I'm hoping that this should have enough room, hopefully. If not, I mean I can do something else. And then right here, it might be hard to tell, but there's a almost looks like a circular um, uh, chain versus a, like an oval chain. Basically, I stuck it in the vise and just squished it down so it's more circular. And that's what is actually going to, this will feed up into the neck of the cylinder and it'll stop right here and basically it'll sit on this. Um, because it's stainless steel, I don't expect it to rot away and then eventually degrade. It might because it's going to be in contact with steel. There's something called galvanic corrosion that occurs when you have two dissimilar metals together. But without looking at the table, I would assume stainless steel and steel are close enough to each other in properties that they're not going to have a, what they call a, a voltage potential. So. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about galvanic corrosion, maybe I'll, I'll shoot another video and you can put it, you know, ask the question in the comment section below. And maybe I'll talk a little bit about what galvanic corrosion is. Uh, I decided not to um, like sand off the paint because I was worried that it might have uh, lead paint in it. Um, and so I'm leaving it as is at the moment. Maybe when it gets a little bit warmer, I'll actually be able to like paint it up, you know, some neat colors or do some designs on it and stuff like that. But I haven't been able to do it right now because it's really cold out and I don't want to paint it inside the house um, <laughs> just because of the fumes more so than anything else or the, the smell of paint. It's probably not horrible, but it's big. It's awkward to carry in. I'd rather just do it in the uh, garage or do it outside maybe uh, hanging off the tree. And then uh, I was pretty happy. So then I got it together and I was able to, um, a couple few days ago, I was able to bring it out to the field and get it hung in the tree. So uh, here's, here's that, you can kind of see. I had see. to find a tree that was strong enough to be able to support it. And of course, right now there's absolutely no wind. Um, I think what I'll have to do is come out again and when it's just a little bit of wind and catch it with it kind of actually chime in a little bit. And I had the use of my trusty tractor back there. Uh, lifted the whole contraption up in the bucket and then I climbed up into the bucket and was able to loop the chain around the branch. So that's the arena, there's the barn. That's my house right there. Uh, that's a neighbor's barn and then his house. And then here's the wind chime. It doesn't look pretty right now. I'm thinking maybe I'll paint over it or maybe just leave it as is, I don't know. Oh, there's a hawk flying in the background. You probably can't see it. He's circling over near that other tree over there. He's probably looking for some lunch. I don't know if you can see him or not. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know if I'm catching him with the phone or not. Sorry, I get easily distracted, but that's definitely a hawk. I'm not good at identifying exactly which one. Maybe a Red tail. And then I had to wait a couple days before I actually could hear any wind. Uh, and when I did, I was really excited because I could hear it from the house. And as you saw in the, the video, it was like 200 feet away or something like that or more, to maybe 200 yards away. Uh, from the wind chime. And you can hear it all over the property. I'm sure the neighbors are going like, what is that sound? So uh, I don't know, maybe freaking them out a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Uh, I do have a couple other air cylinders that I'm still figuring out what to do. I have one, I don't know if you can see it in the video right now, but it's in the corner right there with the T-fitting on it to hook up to my air compressor. So it's going to act as like a, uh, I guess I think the volume inside is about 11 gallons. So it's going to add an additional 11 gallons to my uh, air compressor capacity. Uh, some people say don't do that because it'll burn out the air compressor. Um, I don't, I mean, yeah, maybe it will. I guess it's not the end of the world if it does. Uh, I probably just need to get a bigger air compressor. If I need additional volume, I may need to just have bought a bigger air compressor. So I guess my air compressor dying would probably facilitate that. 
Uh, <clears throat> if you have any ideas what to do with the other ones, um, you know, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have a good idea and uh, uh, you live nearby, um, you know, you may be welcome to take one or maybe I can help convert it for you and, uh, and then uh, you can come pick it up. The, if I have, you know, timing, you know, allows and all that stuff, I'm in uh, southeast Michigan. And then uh, if you have any constructive criticisms, any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them when I can. So I hope you found the video enjoyable. Thank you.